Good day, world. How's everybody doing? Welcome back to another Hip with Buddy. I know it's been a long time since I've done this, but that means a lot has happened. Uh, so if you see up here over my head, the can lights, those have been up for a while, so they're here, here. Um, but yesterday, I actually got to wiring them, so you can see the wire up there. Um, so they're all wired up except for that one because it needs a three wire that's going to come down and be right next to the door. So I'll have a little switch here. Okay, and it's called a three wire because that way I can turn it on here, but I can also turn it on on the other end over here. All right, so this one does not have a switch on it because that has to go to a three wire as well. But what I did, found a couple old light bulbs lying around, uh, took this plug that comes to a plug here, and there you go. You can see it's a regular plug. Um, so what I'm going to do is plug it in. And voila, look at that. There's light. Pretty crazy to have light in there. So it's pretty awesome. Another thing that I've done is I've furred. I know a lot of the other ones were about furring. Uh, furred out majority of the living room. My mom came out and helped me with some of that. So that was a huge help. So a lot of that furring is done, but there's still a lot that needs to be done. So the this is all furred out. The windows are all um, insulated there. I finally went and got my kitchen laid out. So this is what it should look like. I don't know if you guys can see that, um, but that's what it should look like. So wishful thinking. But I had to do that so that I could get the electric all hooked up. So I have the electric here. Gonna have the uh, the fridge here and an outlet. Then the microwave here, the stove here, an outlet, outlet here. And then down here uh, for the dishwasher, another outlet there. I cut the top beam off, um, put another beam here. So this makes it two feet out from the wall so I can put a pantry in there. So it's good. It's coming along. I'm going to put a little breakfast bar there. Um, but as of now, this is my kitchen. Got a spot for a light there, a light over the sink. So yeah, put a little uh, light over the back door, over the entrance here. Got to wire that up. Um, Emily's going to help me knock down this wall here. So I'm going to put a shower in here because this is going to be the other bathroom. So knock down the majority of that wall. Did a lot in the basement. So let's head on down there, see what's happening. Uh, it's been a while just vacuuming up cobwebs. And then my uncle was here on Saturday, which was a huge help. So what we did is we... Ran, these two pipes were already run. These are the gas pipes. They come in from here. So we disconnected. Uh, there was a pipe that came off here that went to the stove. So we disconnected that. We're going to run it. That goes right here. So it goes for the, um, the dryer. So I already put a dryer vent in there. You can see it up there. That When I was side in the house, I put that in there. So the dryer will go there. We got some electricity down here for these lights. Um, so we took, these pipes were already run. There was one here that went to the dryer. So we took that off, put a straight pipe on and these, both these pipes turned left here and they went over to the furnace and the hot water heater. So what we did is we unhooked it from here, put this T joint in it so that one line will hook to, will do the furnace and it will do the hot water heater on one gas line. And then we also put this other valve in here so that when I get the gas insert for the fireplace, that'll go there as well. So that was a lot of work. Um, hadn't really done it before, so I was very grateful to have my uncle here helping me. And then just went through and stapled up all the wires that have been run through the house already, which is a lot of them. As you can see, there's wires here. There's wires here, just going through, stapling all those wires and getting ready to start putting everything into the box. Um, it's kind of scary that a lot of the stuff in the house is already run and getting ready to go. But this, for the most part, you know, this is the basement. We got a little pile over there. I got to clean that up. Um, ran a new wire for the furnace. So this will be the wire for the furnace. Get that ready to go. And then, yeah, I have to get an electrical inspection here before winter comes because I got to get insulation in the walls. And in order to get insulation in the walls, have to have 
the electrical inspection because all the wires run through the wall. For the most part, um, you know, today just gonna, I've been running some more wires, so I'm running this three wire right now. Again, this three wire is for the dining room light. That way I have a switch here that I can turn it on and off and then another switch by the door. So when I walk in the house, I can turn that light on there and I can also turn it off when I go into the kitchen. So for the most part, things are coming along, uh, making progress. It's, it's good to see. So hopefully the house gets um, insulated before winter, get the heat turned on, and then who knows, we'll go from there. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video again. Sorry about the time. Tried to keep it short and sweet. I hope everybody's doing well. I'm here weekends usually if you want to come help. And yeah, I read a quote with my class the other day for, I'm teaching sixth grade. I love it. It's going really well. And it said that life is 10% of what happens and 90% of how you react to it. So that quote made a lot of sense to me. Think about, you can't change life, but you can change how you react to it. So think about how you react to things and what your impact is and what your impact is on people. So be the change you wish to see and make every day great. All right. Cheers.